This is Cameron Chai from Azo Nano, bringing you another episode of azonano.com TV. And today we're speaking to David Faddis from NanoSurf, and he's going to talk to us today about their Flex AFM. Hi. The Flex AFM is one of our newer products that is targeted for research applications. Uh, NanoSurf has traditionally been a company focusing on ease of use, uh, very often for educational um, opportunities for teaching. And the Flex is our move into more fully featured, robust R&D system that keeping in line with NanoSurf tradition is affordable and modular. Uh, this system differs from our older EasyScan models in a few different ways. Uh, one, the scan mechanism for this system utilizes a flexure stage so that it scans in XY utilizing a flexure stage and minimizes background movement that you might have with a standard uh, tube piezo or tripod. And it also utilizes a decoupled Z piezo to track the topography in the Z direction. Uh, the cantilevers are mounted at the end of this ZPA zone, and that leads into another unique feature for the Flex compared to the uh, EasyScan AFMs, is that the Flex has interchangeable nose cones that may, may be used in air or liquid scanning. So this is our first system that utilizes a liquid scanning uh, capability, and one of the main purposes of our display here today is showing one of our new options that utilizes that liquid scanning uh, you know, using the Flex for biotypes of applications. So we have, among many other new options for the Flex, you know, once again, this is a, an instrument that's designed for a variety of, of research applications, uh, flexibility for, for research. Uh, many people that might want to use that are bio, uh, for biotypes of applications, for example are interested in, in using AFM in combination with an inverted optical microscope. So we have a new base plate or base plate option where the AFM can be integrated with inverted optical microscopes so that you may utilize other optical techniques in conjunction with AFM. You can do fluorescence, you know, phase DIC types of applications and also utilize the AFM and the ability to scan in, in liquid or in air. So that's a nice comprehensive you know, set up for, for the life science applications that the Flex can, uh, can easily handle. Um, we also have a variety of other new options for the Flex, you know, once again trying to build upon the, uh, the available, uh, available options for the system that the research community might be interested in. And we can run through a few slides of, of these new options that we currently have available and have recently released for the Flex system. So to enable ease of use for cantilever exchange, the Flex has a new uh, spring clip cantilever change mount that is, allows for easy exchange of cantilevers by a thumb clip mechanism. And this will be uh, an enhancement for ease of use for, for our researchers. There's a, a new environmental box option that allows people to control the environment for a, um, you know, a stable sample environment depending on their on their application and this fits nicely over the typical um, you know flex stage that we offer to customers so you have a easy exchange of gases and ability to control humidity with that setup we have a new sample heater that for the most part is aimed towards lower temper lower temperature biological sample heating applications but room temperature up to 120 C capabilities are available with this uh, sample heater and it's very easily integrated once again with our standard uh, sample handling uh, sample setups for the flex we have new enclosures new acoustic enclosures that are available uh, once again hoping to increase the performance of the of the system for a lab setup, research setup. And here also is a, a slide showing a close up of the um, inverted microscope, inverted optical microscope option, where we have the capability of, of using the, the flex in combination with the inverted optical microscope and the ability to move the sample and the uh, flex head independently for aligning the sample as well as the, uh, the objective alignment of the optical microscope to facilitate the, the operation of the system. Uh, we also have a new high-res sample stage for the, for the flex system that is very good for people that need very high sensitivity um, 
for their experiments. So the highest resolution applications, we have a new sample stage that, that facilitates that uh, you know, increase in, in resolution. Uh, there's a new video camera available for the Flex, and similar to all of our all of the uh, NanoSurf systems, there's a top-down as well as a side view that helps with sample positioning as well as um, in facilitating the the sample approach mechanism, being able to move the tip closely into feedback with the sample. And this is a nice high resolution view, color with digital zoom that allows about a one to two micron resolution for the uh, positioning of the, of the flex. There's also a signal access module that allows for users to, to bring in external signals to the system, you know, inputs, and ex and, uh, inputs and outputs to, to help with their setup if, um, um, if they need access to those extra signals and also a simple translational stage that allows for manual micrometer positioning of the sample for the flex. So overall, you know, the flex, as I mentioned, is a, is a system that we've designed for researchers. It's affordable, modular, easy to use, like all of the NanoSurf systems in the past. Um, and we aim to make it primarily a very competitive system with a an assortment of options that will be of use to the research community in biology, materials, polymers, physics, uh, whatever the application may be. All right, David, thanks for telling us about the Flex AFM and all the various options that you can get for it. And if anybody wants more information, they can go to your website. And that website is nanosurf.com. All right, thanks very much, David. Thank you.